for a little demonstration on how the local Berber culture makes argon oil. Try to peanut one. Mm. We plan to add some rocks. We build the houses in clay, but we plan to add also some rock inside the wall or some stones. And as you know, the stones they got like an extra power to the house to stay a long time. The each for that one. It's between 19 and 95. We're using just clay as you can see and clay, but the each is a very old house. And we can see that one it looks like a new from inside that is not because you can't repair that house around one time for you. It means welcome, don't you want? <laughs> okay, first of all, you are welcome in our women cooperative. As you see, they're making argan oil for cosmetic and argan oil for eating. And this is the fruit from the tree. Argan tree it grow only in Morocco. You can find it outside Morocco, but just tree without fruit. The fruit only in Morocco. To get argan oil, we have many steps. First step, we remove the shell to get the nut inside. The shell gives it foods for animals, especially for goats. Second step, we break the nut. To get this small almond inside. This one we use it for fire, like wood. And by this almond we make two kinds of oil. Cosmetic oil and eating oil. For cosmetic we crush almond natural like that. Argan oil for cosmetic rich in vitamin E, very good for acne, hair loss and wrinkles. I'm 99 years old. And I use the <laughs> but for eating we must roast them before. Argan oil for eating rich in omega-3, very good for diabetic people and cholesterol. Then we put it in this traditional milk and we crush to get this liquid. Finally, we mix this liquid between hand two hours. It's hard work. Each five minutes, we added some warm water and we mix it until the oil came out. And this is your rest. By this rest, we make the black soap for scrubbing skin henna for exfoliation. Tell me they didn't put a smile on y'all's face. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll get Heather a little something from the Fresh Argon place. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool. They have the olive fruit here in these little bands. And I mean, it's all natural. Put down a few heavy you know, pieces of wood on there, crank the machine, and It'll pour the oil out into that little well right there. Awesome. <laughs> nice little demonstration on there. You know, available retail cosmetic products. They had a really good beard oil. Let me check, try to check it out. Oh. Oh. That was fun. It was really nice ladies. There's a lot of jokes. I mean, you know, like the gentleman said in there, just English people are lazy. Like, we only speak English. We're not willing to learn all the languages. And she's in there speaking four languages. Absolutely amazing. I need to start working on my Arabic more. <laughs> I think that's going to be it for the Argon one. And I mean, fun times. That didn't put a smile on your face. I don't know what will. And maybe now we're getting to that hike. Whew, tired already before it even starts. Oh, 
Ooh, and the Atlas Mountains. Drove about 45 minutes to them, up peaks, down. We have made it. And this is gonna be lunch at Omar's home um, here in his local Berber village. Really cool, I mean, his mom's gonna make it for him. They have two groups a day, so it's crazy. But this is as authentic as Moroccan food can get. Yes. So let's eat. Bon appetit. This is just lunch. This isn't even a hike. <laughs> Friendly. Friendly little Habibis. <laughs> and this is it. Omar's family home where he grew up at. And you know, he said he lives in Marrakesh now, but it's pretty cool. Local Berber house. Look at that view. That's not right. <laughs> Rosie, I miss you, girl. He's so good. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, you cutie. Tag on cutie. Tag on cutie. Tag on cutie. This area are the second tip of Numa. Those people actually they decide to stay here forever because we have water, we have also grass for the animals. So we build the houses as you can see, like villages, and we decide to stay here forever. These are all walnut trees here. One of the main crops, cash crops of the Berber village, as well as over there, the whole apple orchard. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Nice little walk through the mountains. Whew. This is pretty much a medium experience hike. Didn't think it was going to be this intense. The dog's still following us from lunch. I don't know how she got at that. Beautiful. Thank you. Ah, ah, yes. Nice gentleman. Went on ahead and supported the local economy. Heather, you better like it. Hey. Give it to Jay. I think we're getting close to the waterfall. It was a heck of a climb, but I think it's gonna be worth it with the views. The natural waterfall here, coming through the rock face of the Atlas Mountains. Ooh, boy. Like I was mentioning, got a little Nicholas from the gentleman back there, support the local economy here up on the top of the mountain. Feel much better spending money here than spending money in the city, no doubt. Ooh, the party scene. Look, they got a restaurant here. <laughs> Look at this place. It's amazing.
fun time. Well worth a little, it wasn't an hour, maybe 45 minutes hike. Um, see where it's next. Wicked. Yep, so got a couple of bracelets. Um, passed out a few US dollars for free upon request. I always carry about 25 single ones on me for the guys that go, you got any money from your country? Good times. Oh, down there. Okay. Okay. We made our way back down the mountain and in the little Berber village right now. That's pretty cool, man. Whoa. And unfortunately, we're not going to have time to explore this little Berber village, but I mean, what a day, guys. What a day. I mean, if you're ever out in Marrakesh, highly recommend seeing Mustafa and Omar. Omar was my god, Mustafa's his brother, and just an amazing adventure out here in Morocco, out of the city, you know, just tremendous. So, we're going to head on back. I think we got about an hour drive to get back to Marrakesh and maybe pick up for another vlog, vlog tonight. So, until the next time, take it easy and peace. From the Atlas Mountains, Marrakesh, Morocco. Yeah. And we have made it back to the market. And, uh, uh, took a little bit too long. I mean, we're about three hours past due, so I think we're just going to go ahead and close out this uh, Marrakesh series here. We're heading up to Casablanca tomorrow, so another fun adventure, guys. Um, staying right in the city center, beachfront. It's going to be a beautiful place, and I hope you'll join me for it. So, so the next time, guys, take it easy and peace. Number two, Marrakesh. You can know I'll be back. Thanks, guys, for watching.